My name is Shirley Chang, and I just turned 85. I was RN and working in the outpatient surgery center in Senju. Just love taking care of patients, get to know people. I just like the feeling of able to do something for people and changing their life. My hobby, uh, actually I love arts and uh, dancing. 1995, I started to compete with my husband, dance as a couple. Shirley and I have uh, formed a really incredible relationship over the last year or so. Uh, I first met her when she came in with horrible low back pain and leg pain to the point that she wasn't able to walk. My back pain is not until 80. Before that, I have no problems. She went from a championship international ballroom dancer to barely being able to walk. And she was very afraid of surgery. She had been offered surgery in her early 80s, but it was a traditional open spine surgery, which is very invasive. So I call Anita Lawrence. She was my locker mate for 20 years. She suggested, there's a new doctor in town. Why don't you check him out? Finally, she agreed to surgery with me, but it was done using a minimally invasive robotic assisted approach. We were able to stabilize her spine and help with the slippage of the vertebrae and also take the pressure off her nerves, all within about a two hour operating time. There's a lot of fear and trepidation when it comes to brain and spine surgeries, and rightfully so. And about 125 years ago was when the field of neurosurgery and spine surgery was first invented, per se, actually where I trained at Johns Hopkins Hospital. When we come in for surgery today, we have the best technologies. Today, when someone gets surgery, it's not only safe, but now we're asking actually for perfection and to restore that neurological function, which was not thought to be possible before. It's just like a hallelujah. <laughs> you just wanna, wow, I'm walking and I'm, I'm, you know, without pain. It's just very awesome feeling. Now, a whole year out from her surgery, She's back to dancing and walking over 10,000 steps again. Two, three. That's pretty good. <laughs> For me, the joy of what I do is to be able to give my patients either their life back or their quality of life back. And there's nothing greater of a reward than to be able to do that for another human being. Don't suffer. I suffer for too long. I wish I, I would do earlier. To be able to give her back that has been really the biggest uh, gift that anybody can give me. Dr. Jen, I want to thank you so much for your dedication to what you're doing. And so nice to people and so nice to me. Make me feel very special. I want to thank you. <laughs>